Hello everybody, let's go find 17. Uh, so today, I'm gonna set the camera right here. So, um, what am I, uh, doing right now? Uh, good question. Um, now this is a fair, fair disclaimer. Um, so one pair of these is, one of this... A part of this is uh, actually already been unboxed, but I never uploaded it yet. So I'm gonna check out that video, and those would be these. So welcome. You probably already saw them. Um, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got new mallets. So let's unbox them, why don't we? So let's start out with. So we're gonna go with the Zalika Mallets first. Now, lucky me, they double shift these Xylophone Mallets. See, they double shift them. See? And, uh, this is awesome. This is pretty cool. So, I have an extra set of those. Now, these are the Mike Balter 105B Xylophone and marimba mallets. These are extremely awesome. So let's unbox them, why don't we? Now, I don't have a xylophone I can try them on, which is sad. I would, if I had a xylophone or something, I would totally try them. Um, but yeah, so as I can, first thing I could tell is that these are very smooth. Mm, I like them, they're very smooth. Smooth rubber top. It's got a bit of a gloss on it. Yep, they're, they're definitely rubber. Definitely very smooth. I could definitely use them in my fulcrum very well, which is a drummer's term for this, like how you hold your drumstick. Fulcrum. Part of your finger. Um... So yeah, those are the 105B mounts, so you should go ahead and check them out, make sure that you try and go get them, because believe it or not, these are actually some of the nicest mounts I've really had. So, uh, yeah, so you gotta make sure you go out there and grab them, because they're extremely awesome, and I think they're going out pretty fast, I heard, but I'm not sure, for, I'm not certain, but let's check out the next type of mallet. When... Will you please welcome to the stage uh, the T3 Tiffany Mallets. Now, first look, T3 General Tiffany Mallets. Now, first thing I see here, I'm going to pull them both out without trying to touch the tops. Alright, so, um, actually, so if you can see here, it's got a bunch of fluff. Love this fluff right here. I want to. Okay, I'm sorry, it touched the tops, but, uh, hey, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, Mike Balter, T3 General. Yeah, you can barely even hear that roll, could you? Uh, yeah. So, that, one thing I definitely noticed is that this wood is very smooth. I'm definitely gonna be dropping these in a, a couple times, so. So, uh, I love these mallets. These... Mallets are cool. They're really awesome. I love I love them. Uh, nothing really about them that is significant except for the wood is very soft, nice and fluffy. I love this blue tape up there. I'm rocking the blue. They love rocking the blue tape, huh? Well, um, anyway, so they're pretty cool. Now, if you didn't watch the other video, if you're not watched the other video yet. Um, on my, uh, Balter Basics, Vibraphone, and Marimba Mallets. So, wait a minute. I put them in the wrong way. You have one job, you put them in the wrong way. Alright, so, um, anyway, um, I just, just, I just wanna, you know, you never know. So, uh, I'm just gonna put these away. First of all, I gotta seal the top. And, uh, 
here. Um, let's do it. So these are our mallets that I've already used multiple times. But they are still new. They're the BP2 blue birch handled mallets. They have blue yarn and everything. They're really nice. I don't really let no one touch my mallets. Somebody did touch my mallet and I almost ripped them apart. I almost ripped the kid's hand off. I like grabbed his hand. I was going to pull it. But I didn't want to. Very soft. Nice. Not as, not as slippery as the other woods. Still smooth, but not slippery. So I like it. Um, definitely want to check out. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys something else in this video that still involves these mallets. So, and I first of all... I want to show you what I use for a drum bag. I use this Zildjian drum bag. I found it at my local music store, which mine is Wayne's World. So a shout out to them. You should probably go check them out if you're around here. Um, North East Pennsylvania. You'll check them out. Just Google them up. And just click up Wayne's World in uh, North East Pennsylvania. But this is a great bag. I emptied all my stuff purposely. So let me just go get my drumsticks, my snare drumsticks. Alright, well, I had them in the other room because I'm practicing for a really, really, really big and important uh, invitational I got chosen to, the Marywood Junior Wind Celebration, and it's very awesome. Even though I'm not a wind, I still get to go, so I'm kind of happy. So, uh, yes, these are my snare drum sticks. These are Vic Farth SD1 General Snare Drum Sticks. They've already got a lot of things on them because apparently I keep doing rim shots that I shouldn't be doing. So, we've got them, and I'm going to show you guys how I put them in. Uh, first of all, let me grab them. Okay, so, this is how I put them in. I will go take my, all I do is I put my uh, logo up. And slide them in there. Needs as much room as possible. So here's what I would do. I would. I'm going to set these down over here. I think I'm going to put my xylophone mallets in first because I'm loving these xylophone mallets. And plus, so this is drums. This is mallets, like xylophone and keyboard. And this is timpani right here. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go in here. And then, we also have the Mike Balter BB2s. Mike Balter. We have to always have the logo up. That's what I always do. You gotta add, gotta be perfect. In some things, I mean, my walker isn't perfect. You should see my room isn't perfect, because i got to work on that today. You know, I should do something. I, you know, I'd be creepy, though. I don't want some random creeper just looking at my room. And then we're going to get our timpani mouse right here, so we get the mic falter right there. Check it out. Check it out. Here they go. In their new home. Yay. So these already came in about on Sunday. So, this is kind of tough. So, now I would put the strings down. I don't even know what these strings are for. I honestly do not know what these strings are for. But it's okay. So, okay, so uh, I decided to bring you down. For, I don't think you should be up there in the hangar. But here's what I got. So, remember, we have these SD1 Vic Firths drumsticks. We have the Mike Balter 105B hard rubber medium hard rubber xylophone and marimba mallets. We have the Balter Basics, Mike Balter, BB2, vibraphone and marimba mallets. And then we've got the uh, T3 General, Mike Balter, timpani mallets. And that's in my Zildjian bag, Zildjian drum, drumstick bag. I love it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to fold this over. Just like that. Make sure. Here's a fair tip. So you make sure always that your drumsticks and everything. You always make sure that they're 
perfectly aligned with the logo and everything. So put them in there, nice. And uh, I'm gonna fold it, but I don't know. Flip it. It was also gonna pouch on the front, but I don't know how I would use that because somebody would just like. I mean, maybe for dreadlocks. Hmm, maybe for dreadlocks or brushes. I'm not sure though. Well, let me let me set this down. And now I gotta zip it up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you go, my my Zildjian bag with all my new mallets in it, except for the blue ones, the blue ones aren't new, I've had them for a month now, so I guess you can still say they're new, but anyway, but yes, so thank you very much for watching, and um, thank you, now make sure to stay tuned for the Dallas Stars talk, which is coming out in like 10 or 15 minutes after this video was posted as well. So I got to post that as well. Thank you very much and bye.